Hello there, and thank you for joining me today with a Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to be going over our web-based phone. The web-based phone is really cool. It is a phone that you can use on the internet. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you how to gain access to that phone first, and then we're going to show you how to use it. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to admin.mangovoice.com. Right here is the screen that you should be seeing. Now, you can access the phone in two methods. The first is to come to this screen here and click on the soft phone. Alternatively, you can just go to phone.mangovoice.com. Once you're there, it's going to prompt you to log in with your username and your password. Once you're logged in, this is what it'll look like. The sidecar on the left could be hidden with these arrows here. As you can see, it hides it there, so you can just click on that to bring it up if you need that sidecar. I don't recommend hiding the sidecar as it doesn't do you any good, but that is how you can do that. Now, the soft phone is pretty simple. As you can see, we've got the dial pad right here. All you have to do is dial the number by clicking on the buttons to call whomever you wish to call. Once you have the phone number in there, you can click on the green button right here, and it's going to begin placing that call. Now that the call's been initiated, you can press this pause button here. That's going to place the call on hold. You'll hear your hold music until you resume that call. We also have the transfer button here. This is going to allow you to transfer the phone call to another extension. And of course, you can end simply by clicking on the red button here. That'll end the call. Now, you don't have to dial by clicking on the buttons like I just did either. You can put your cursor right there and you can use your keyboard to type the number that you wish to call. It's easy as that. You can of course use the backspace as well. You don't have to use the button here. Now the sidecar is a very beneficial tool that is going to operate just like the buttons do on the side of your desk phone. You can add buttons to it and you'll be able to use those buttons just like you would on your desk phone. So if you click on new, it'll let you select the kind of button you'd like to add. So we can add a parking lot. We get to select which parking lot we'd like to use. So we have park one. It's gonna label it park one. Personally, I just prefer the letter P and then the number. So we're gonna label that P1 and add. And we're gonna add another one. We're gonna add parking lot two. Then you can also add the extensions for your office, the presence buttons for your team. By clicking on new, we're gonna then select directory. And then we get a pick from a drop down menu of the phones that we want. So we're gonna go ahead and throw on Sally's, George, and Tyler. Now that we have those three presence buttons active, we can click those buttons at any time to call those individuals. For example, if we click on Tyler, it calls Tyler's extension. The circles here operate the same way as the lights do on your phone. This green circle means that it's available. If someone was in that parking lot, it would change to red. And that goes for the presence options as well. If Tyler was on the phone, that green circle would change to a red circle. Now you can also add speed dials. All you have to do is select speed dial and put in the phone number you'd like to see. You'll of course want to label that appropriately and click on add. Now we have a speed dial. As soon as you click that button, it's going to call the number in question. Now once you're done editing, you can go ahead and click on done and it'll go back to edit and you can adjust that later as you see fit. Now the final thing I'd like to show you today is these three dots right up here. If you click on those three dots, you'll have the ability to access the voicemail for this extension. So if voicemails are being saved on extension 100, you can then listen to the voicemails right here by clicking on voicemail. It'll dial star 97. Of course, you'll have the same opportunities to place the call and hold transfer, go to voicemail, but you can listen to those voicemails right here provided you have that password. Now you don't necessarily need to click on voicemail. You could dial star 97, but it's a little easier. And that's everything I have to show you today on the soft phone. Thank you for joining me today with a Mango Voice tutorial. And if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.